Hello everyone. For today's uh, quick project report on the project I've been doing with the OpenCM904 and the 45 EXP, we'll cover the power option for my particular OpenCM904 and 45 EXP uh, setup. <coughs> I show you uh, how the Dynamics channel working out for me using Manager and also using Task. So for my situation, my 40, uh, 904 is soldered to the 45 XP a long time ago. The only thing optional left can be manipulated anything for voltages input is through the LiPo connection. Uh, luckily, it turned out that the LiPo battery cable is uh, pos uh, male on both ends. So I just cut them up, reinsert them. And then on the other end, I also use a 3PTTL DXF cable the old bioloy cable, cut them up, and then just splice them together, uh, and then put them to uh, SMPS to dynamic saw here. <clears throat> so the positive end go to VCC of the uh, 3P DXL cable, and the negative goes to go to ground of the cut up 3P TDL DXL cable. That's it. Uh, the uh, connection, the two interior connector. I not use at all and then to power the SMPS to the mix so I use a variable power supply so I can vary 5 volts 7 and a half and 12 volt onto the OpenCM904 itself the 45 area speed I just leave it on 12 volt so this is a hardware setup so on the 94 uh, 904C you see I hook up uh, XL320 ID3 and I also hook up two XL330 ID1 and 2 using a, a special cable XL320 to X3P convertible cable so this is new for the US shop so I just got them so I'm glad I got them and then on the 45 HP board I have a 2XL330 ID11 and 12 also I hook up an AX12A in there and that's achieved, of course, using the 3P to X3P convertible cable. First, using Manager, I found out that uh, all the Manager for Adder 16 Dynamics uh, channel can have 0, 1, 2, or 3 as an input, but I found out that 0 or 3 give me the same result, really. Uh, and that is uh, either 0 or 3 will find all the, uh, X, uh, all the Dynamics so hooked up on it. On the 904, so for my case, you see XL330. It sees the the two XL330 also, and the XL320. In this particular shot here, I use a uh, five volt on the OpenCM 904, and I found out that you know XL330 and the two XL330 works fine. XL320 work at five volt, so lower than its 7.5 volt. Uh, that is rated at but it's working okay so this is the way to use if you happen to have to have to mix uh, thing between XL320 and XL330 so use 5 volt if I put 7.5 volt on 904 I found out that the CIL320 works still fine because that's what it's rated for but the XL330 will refuse to work because it has input voltage error which is kind of expected so it, it's safe though. It didn't burn up the uh, XL320 and anything. It just refused to, to work when inside manager. And then I took everything out and I put the XL2 XL430 onto the 904 itself and powered to 12 volt. And I can see the 2 XL430 fine and you know it will operate this fine. So remember that uh, Dynamics 03 doesn't seem to matter much. And then I put the 2XL3430 uh, on the 485XP with 12 volt on it. <clears throat> and you can see it recognized at first. The AX12 is not recognized at all by the manager. So AX used to be uh, usable on 485XP back in 2017, but it had been that long I haven't used this system. So it looked like something got changed already. Also, now I found out is I don't know what uh, these. Two and three setting is four. Doesn't seem to affect anything uh, the way I use them in my setup. Basically using manager and task. So I don't know what are these set up for. 
Number two, so I, from there, I want to work out a small task program where essentially it just read the dynamic channel being set. And then it, it push one, it move my two XL330. And then I push two, it move my XL, uh, my only XL320. And the three interesting thing is what's fine. With if I have, a, I happen to have the older task 3.13, fine. But it does not work with the current 3.1.7. I don't know why. Also, another bug, no matter what, is in the interface. So if you use task, and if you have XL330 or XL430, make sure you use choose the XMX8 series option because that's the one that gives you the proper address for the goal position. If you use XL330, remember to use that so-called XL series up here. So that hadn't been, been fixed yet. It's just a matter of uh, labeling the, uh, the text here. So just to verify one more step, I create a similar uh, code, but for using task two. And this program will compile okay, download okay, but it did not execute properly. Now the interesting part is, this executable work okay with the program output monitor of task version 3.13. So from what I've seen, it looks like the whatever current issue or issues that I have between the OpenZM904 and Program Output and Monitor for Task 2 and Task 3.17 probably got something to do with remote code packet or communication being not being somehow uh, work out okay. So because the executable work okay, that means the binary code on the OpenZM904 works fine with its hardware and software.